<laughs> you what? I'm stuck. Does fear of using gym equipment incorrectly and looking stupid at the gym keep you from going to the gym? If it does, I have some tips and tricks I'd like to share with you so that you can go into the gym feeling a lot more comfortable and confident. Keep watching. Here on my channel, I share with you information on how to start your fitness journey and how to reach your fitness goals efficiently. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. When I first started going to the gym, the only thing I would do was cardio because I didn't know how to use any of the other gym equipment. I was already like this skinny little Asian girl and I felt like people were already judging me because of that and I didn't want to look even more stupid by trying to use the other gym equipment and doing it wrong. But by letting my fear get in the way, I really did myself a disadvantage because all that time I spent being comfortable on the cardio machines could have been better spent learning how to use the other gym equipment and reaching my fitness goals faster. Anyways, I want you guys to be better equipped than I was so that when you go into the gym, you can go feeling a lot more comfortable and a lot more confident and reach your fitness goals faster. So I'm going to share with you guys how to use some really basic gym equipment. The first machine we're going to look at is the leg press. Before we get started, I just want to point out that every machine has instructions on it, like you see the leg press has here at the very top. The instructions will show you what muscles the machine works and how to use the machine. Be sure to refer to the instructions if you ever need help with the machine. The first thing we'll adjust on the leg press is the amount of weight we want. To do this, take the pin and insert it into whatever weight you like. The weights on the bottom go up by 20 pounds, but if you don't want to add another 20 pounds, you can use a weight selector at the top which goes between 0 and 15 pounds. To use it, simply pull it out towards yourself, turn the knob until your desired weight is at the top, and then release the knob back into place. The next thing we'll adjust on the leg press is the height of the seat. The shorter your legs are, the farther down you'll want the seat and vice versa. To adjust the height of the seat, pull the lever on the left hand side of the chair up. This releases the chair and you can now pull it up or down to whatever height you'd like. To set the seat back into place, simply release the lever. Then just take a seat on the leg press and begin. The next machine is the assisted pull-up slash dips machine. To do these exercises assisted, make sure the knee rest is up. To do these exercises unassisted, place the knee rest down. To put the knee rest into place, put the lever out to the right and push the rest up or down. Like the leg press, use the pin to select the amount of weight you want to remove from your body weight. The handles can also be adjusted to be closer or farther away from your body. Use the steps on the machine to help you get up. You can now proceed to doing your pull-ups, chin-ups, or tricep dips. This is the pec fly slash rear delt machine. There are two places to adjust, on the top and the seat. The levers on the top will adjust the location of the handles. To adjust these, pull the levers down, move the handles to where you need them, and release the lever to set the handle into place. To adjust the height of the seat, simply pull the lever on the right hand side of the seat up and pull the seat up or down. Release the lever to set the seat into place. Then select your desired weight and you can proceed to the exercise. This is the leg extension machine. There will be three places to adjust. The first will adjust how far back your feet will go. The second will adjust how far down your shins the bar will come. The third will adjust how far up or back in the chair you will sit. Typically, the shorter you are, the farther up you will sit. To adjust the first two, push the button on top of the handle down. 
Then shift the adjuster to wherever you need it and release the button to set it there. As you can see, there are numbers and letters to indicate the different settings. To adjust the back of the seat, pull the lever out to the right of the chair, push the back forward or back, and release the lever to set the back of the chair into place. Select your desired weight and begin your exercise. We are now going to move on to cables. To adjust the height of the cable, use this lever on the bottom. Pull it out, shift it to whatever height you need it, and release the lever to set it back into place. Set the weight to your heart's desire. For free weight cables, you'll typically see these weights that look like gigantic toe separators to add about 2.5 pounds. This thing I'm holding in my hand is called an attachment. There are a lot of different kinds of attachments. The kind of attachment you will use will depend on the kind of exercise you're doing. Every attachment has a hole that can be used to be attached to the hook on the cable. Simply open up the hook and put the attachment on. Then go ahead and do your exercise. This here is a lap pull down machine. The only thing we need to adjust here is the cushion bar on top of your legs. To adjust this, pull the lever out to the right, shift the bar wherever it suits you and release the lever to set the bar back into place. You can also switch out attachments on the lap pull down at the very top here. Select your desired weight and you can start the exercise. Next is the seated cable row machine. The only thing you'll need to do is switch the attachment to whatever you need, select your desired weight, and you can begin your exercise. Squat rack. This thing I'm holding is called a bar catch. To adjust the height of these, pull the catch up and out towards yourself. Then, insert it back into the slots. Do this on both sides. Real quick, I just want to point out that the plates on the side of the squat rack usually go in the order of 2.5 to 5 pound plates on the top, 10 pound plates underneath these, 25 to 35 pound plates, and then 45s on the bottom. I'm going to place a barbell on the bar catches and adjust the guards. You'll want to adjust these just like you do with the bar catches. Then, add plates onto the ends of the barbell. This here that I'm holding is called a collar. You put this on the outside of the plates to prevent them from sliding. To open it up, press the handles together and slip it onto the end of the barbell. When you release the handles, the collar will tighten around the barbell. You can now go ahead and perform your exercise. The last machine we'll be going over is a smith machine. The first thing I'll be adjusting are the safeties on the bottom. To move them, simply hold the handle, lift the bottom of the safety up, and slide the safety to wherever you need it. And set the bottom of the safety back down to hook it on. Then move the bar. To do this, lift the bar up, bringing it out of the hooks and rolling it forward so it doesn't catch back onto the hooks. To set it back on the hooks, roll the bar backwards and set it down. Add plates if you want and begin your exercise. This here is what we call a bench. To adjust the angle of the back of the bench, locate the lever underneath, pull the lever out and push the back up or down. Once it's at the height you need, release the lever. You can move the bench by holding the handle underneath the seat of the bench, pulling it up and using the back wheels to move the bench around. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you feel like you can walk into the gym now feeling a lot more confident, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions for me or requests of other videos you'd like me to do, please make sure to leave all of that in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you guys next time and I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day.